Zer. <laughs> Zer. <laughs> Where <are> you at? <laughs> Hello. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Chris Bashua here. And it, Zer is once again back. Today is Friday the 12th of February. And, well, here we are. <laughs> Don't really have any strange coins on me, so I can't buy anything actively. So let's just get into the gear. For the Titans, we have the Peregrine Greaves, Victory from on High, Intellect of 57, Strength of 59. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> the main perk we have here is Peregrine Strike. Shoulder Charge deals bonus damage when activated in the air. In PvP, this can one-shot any character in their super aside from radiant skin sun singers wearing the ram possibly yeah possibly this however will not one shot in the crimson doubles playlist if you're um going 2v1 because the person you're going up against is going to be a last guardian standing meaning they'll have maximum all stats <laughs> i tend to call it they're pissed <laughs> I don't call it broken heart. <laughs> anyway, we have increased intellect, increased strength, shotgun ammo, machine gun ammo, and arc double down. So already Paragon Greaves only is, has, any, has only gotten any real use with the striker subclass, which is an arc subclass. So arc double down is good synergy. If you do like shotguns, then you know you've got shotguns and machine guns in PvP are pretty dominant right now. Quillum's Terminus is still in the meta. So, you know, I can definitely recommend you pick these up. Uh, however, I wouldn't recommend just shoulder charging everything in the face unless you are looking to have fun and not get a good KD. <laughs> but uh, as always, you can reroll this stuff with the Twist Fate node. So if you want sniper rifle ammo or fusion rifle ammo, or maybe you want rocket launcher ammo, who knows? You go for what you want. Maybe you want to like discipline. Go for it. <laughs> but at the current state, I can definitely recommend them to you. For the hunters, we have the Celestial Nighthawk, which I believe I have one. I do. So I can actually make a quick comparison. Oh, that's right. Mine's just like, what, intellect strength? Okay, so in any case, um, the vendor version has intellect 48 and discipline of 48. That's good. Intellect Discipline is always a great combo, and having a balance of Intellect Discipline at the start is quite nice. Uh, for the main perk, we have Big Game. Golden Gun fires one shot, delivering six times the damage while granting Keyhole for over, for over penetration. So, obviously with this, um, you won't need to run Keyhole if you want to uh, actually go, go ahead and run through multiple targets and it also means that you could run gunslinger's trance while having celestial nighthawk active as well uh, for the main perks we have increased intellect and discipline we have ashes to asset gain bonus super energy on grenade kills this isn't too bad but um, there are better things heavy lifting gain bonus super energy from heavy weapon kills on minions of the darkness and we have better already. Shields start recovery immediately after orb pickup. Okay. Good things about this helmet is it's great for DPS. It's fantastic to use in the King's Fall raid. Um, when you're against Oryx, you know, you're going for your chest slot. You're going to go ahead and uh, strike the chest with all your touch and malices and all that. A, cel a Celestial Nighthawk will do, I believe, three quarters of what you of the damage you need to do. I'm pretty confident of that. Um, if you have this, if you are at the 320 light level, I think this can actually take out a light eat eater ogre immediately. I don't think it could um, stagger oryx though. I highly doubt it could stagger oryx. But yeah, with Celestial Nighthawk, this was the king of PVE. As, as a gunslinger hunter, you could just get so much damage done on an ultra and get through something very, very quickly. So take that as you will. I can definitely recommend you pick this up. 10 out of 10 PvE, freaking 0 out of 10 PvP, because you only have the one shot. And you gotta make that shot count. <laughs> but hey, moving on. For the Warlocks, 
We have Obsidian Mind, Power from the Ash, Intellect of 75, and at his goddamn usual, Increased Strength. <laughs> Call it. <laughs> okay, so for the main perk, we have Insatiable. Nova Bomb kills. Reduce the cooldown of your next Nova Bomb. All I can say is... Uh, the first section of the Curtisan raid where you're sworn by Thrall half the, well, pretty much all of the time, you know, proceeding from lamp to lamp, trying to get to the, get, just trying to get through the first section, having a Nova Bomb ready, and actually scoring a kill. I'm pretty sure if you ran Bloom, you would get your Nova Bomb back immediately, and then you could just go for another one, <laughs> which is always a fantastic feeling. Um, in PvP, you can find a lot of use for this, but I would only recommend using this in 6v6 game modes and not 3v3. Uh, I mean, even then, getting a triple kill on 3v3 with Nova Bomb is, go is good, but uh, it's not enough to give you back your super. Definitely not. Um, in 6v6, it's definitely a great way of doing it, especially if you can get a large number on, say, the heavy ammo or on a capture point like on a crucial capture point like B or C on Shores of Time because people just keep capping A because they're stupid. I'm still salty about that video. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, of course we have increased strength and intellect. We have hands-on gain bonus super energy from melee kills on minions of the darkness. Second thoughts gain bonus super energy from special weapon kills on minions of the darkness and innervation bonus grenade energy on orb pickup. If you pick this up, I'm immediately going to have to say Reroll it with Twist Fate. <laughs> Here's what I'm gonna tell you. Intellect is fine. Pure in intellect and strength, I'm okay with that. That's not a problem. The problem here is these three. <laughs> so, first of all, I'm gonna recommend for PvE, Inverse Shadow. You can go second thoughts here, but, uh, you know, things. <laughs> But I, for PvE, I would recommend Inverse Shadow all the way, and I would then recommend either Infusion or better already. If you're going to go PvP, I immediately recommend Infusion or better already, and I recommend Ashes to Asset. Because the grenade kills in PvP is practically the only way you're going to get a super using your helmet. <laughs> but, uh, hey, that's all my opinion. If I'm going to give you any sort of order of which I would pick up first, I would pick up uh, Celestial Nighthawk, Obsidian Mind, Peregrine Greaves, but that's just me. Uh, maybe yours might be different. Let me know what you think of all this stuff in the comments down below, guys. You know, I always appreciate what you guys have to say. Moving on to the engrams, we have the Exotic Gauntlet engram, so you can get things like um, the Nothing Manacles, the... Sealed Ahamkara Grasps, the Ruin Wings, and other stuff. <laughs> you can get the Don't Touch Me Gauntlets, Young Ahamkara Spines, uh, the No Backup Plans as well. There's so many possibilities. 19 Strange Coins, go nuts, guys. Just, just go nuts. <laughs> and moving on, we have the Legacy Helmet Engram. This can give you helmets such as Acquiefate Symbiote, the Ram, this cannot give, obviously, year two stuff like Empyrean Bellicose, but you can obviously get things like an uh, Insurmountable Skull Fort. Uh, I've set the RAM. There's not much I can really say. <laughs> uh, you can also get Mask of the Third Man. You can also get a Celestial Nighthawk from this as well, but I recommend just picking up the year two version. But hey-ho. I still think it's expensive, though, for the legacy stuff. I mean, I have all the, like, the year one stuff that you can get from drops. So, you know, in fact, the only one I need now is Necrochasm. So I'm going to be doing some Crota. Might even have a Crota solo for you. Who knows? Moving on to the Curios, we have the Plasma and Emerald Coil Drives, making your rare sparrows into legendary sparrows. We have the Heavy Ammo Synthesis, one strange coin for three packs. Always go for this. <laughs> we have the Three of Coins, seven strange coins for five packs of Three of Coins. I can always recommend this, go into a Crucible match, pop one, even if you lose, you still get an exotic, uh, so, you know, just just go for it, go nuts. Um, we have the glass needles at last, three strange coins, three motes of light, and one exotic shard. 
definitely if you don't have any glass needles and you pick up the obsidian mine make sure you pick some of these up immediately and last but not least we have the material exchange two strange coins for one mode of light and we still need the strange coin exchange you know one mode of light for one strange coin I mean, come on what are we asking for here not much <laughs> maybe in destiny 2 we'll see that but who knows anyway um that's your Zerus inventory review. Pick up uh, Celestial Nighthawk, Obsidian Mind, and then Paragon Greaves. Or just buy exotic gauntlet engrams all to your pleasure and just go nuts. Don't forget to pick up some Tree Coins and Heavy Ammo Synths. Maybe some Glass Needles if you do want to reroll anything. And hopefully you enjoyed the video. So if you did, don't forget to drop a like down below. And if you want to see more content, then don't forget to subscribe. And as always, guys, I'll talk to you all later.